tons of Intel CPUs have an iGPU that sucks for playing games, but they have an encoder called QuickSync. If you use it to encode your stream instead of using NVENC or AMD's hardware encoder, can that actually help? Let's find out. I've always felt that Intel CPUs having an encoder via their integrated graphics has been an advantage, especially for troubleshooters. But since around 10th gen, Intel upgraded their QuickSync integrated encoder to be on par, if not better than NVENC. It's the revelation that Intel has been quietly updating their QuickSync H.264 encoder continuously over the years. I teased during my original 12th gen coverage that it was really good these days, but consistently on almost every test combination, QuickSync outperformed NVENC by two to 6% quality improvement depending on bitrate. One thing I've noticed when helping people troubleshoot their OBS stream settings is sometimes OBS would completely crash out citing an encoder overload error. Even though NVENC operates on its own section of the GPU, certain settings and use cases still cause it to dip into actual GPU resources while encoding. But if your GPU is busy using all its horsepower for your games, there's nothing left for OBS and its encoding, and this will either result in drop frames or outright crashes. No! God! Since the early days of streaming, people thought using a second GPU to encode their streams would help. It, it did not, and is still not a recommended solution. Tell me why! TLDR, the reason is that the encoder has to copy everything over to that second GPU, it encodes it, and then it sends it all back. That is increased overhead for the main GPU and can result in performance loss. No! I thought to myself, if I can get QuickSync to encode streams, then that means the GPU should be free to provide maximum performance to games and no longer run into encoder overloaded errors or GPU encoding related OBS crashes. Then I remembered how it works. Like I mentioned above, with the additional overhead of having another GPU do the encoding and got a little sad. Boo this man! No! So I decided to benchmark a few games using NVENC versus QuickSync. Roll the benchmarks. I need to ask you something. Are you subscribed to our YouTube channel? Because if you're not, hit that subscribe button and also follow over on Twitch. Links are right over here. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> I don't like it over there. Color me surprised. While some games did take a small hit, it also appeared that the differences in other games comes down to margin of error or normal run to run variants. My initial disappointment with thinking this might actually be detrimental has so far proven incorrect, and that's a good thing. Yes! So if you've got an Intel CPU with the integrated graphics enabled, which should enable quick sync encoding in OBS Studio, here are the settings that I used. I think it's worth enabling if you have it, or at least playing with it to see if you like it or if it helps. It didn't really seem to hurt anything too much, and if it can improve stream stability or reduce OBS crashes due to encoder overloaded errors when using NVENC, then it's actually quite nice. Nice. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any uploads. Also, I stream on Twitch every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv slash coalition Chris. So feel free to come by, drop a follow, and let's talk streaming and PC tech. See you guys in the next one.